Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Sebbing. Today we have some brand new and some requests from you guys for some new fabrics that you can get over at our website, shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. We bring you lots of free tutorials and it's awesome when you see something that you like if you grab it from us. It helps us be able to keep the lights running and our employees paid and also be able to bring you more new fabric and more free tutorials so lots of fun so this first one we actually have had it for a bit we first did a triangle masterclass kit in it you guys loved it that is sold out currently it is reorderable so we might get some more at some point um, but we've had some requests for fat quarter bundles for glisten this is from patrick Lowe's, which is now part of the northcott family of fabrics it is a fabulous um blender fabric it has metallic in every single one but it's a really soft pliable metallic it doesn't at all feel like some metallics you know they feel like really stiff and they're a nightmare to quilt and that is not at all the case with this it has like this graffiti sparkle to it and each of the metallic prints coordinate with the fabrics that are in it and as you can see it's a really great rainbow i actually just finished up a project using this you guys aren't going to be able to get the pattern just yet but i contributed a quilt to a book that my publisher is doing all about t-shirt quilts i have some more info on that when the publishing date actually gets a little closer but it was so fun to work with what i did was i took my kids onesies and garments and used that as the center of a log cabin block that way i was able to use different size garments and just alter the number of strips that were in my log cabin depending on how large that center square was so this was absolutely perfect to use for a quilt like that with a bunch of kids stuff it's really bright fun it just reminds me of like a really bright funky rainbow so it was turned out adorable my eight-year-old is already wondering who's going to get that when i die someday it makes you feel great doesn't it but it is adorable and it looks so fun and i had such a good time quilting it as well it just worked out perfectly so highly recommend we now have fat quarter bundles in additional to yardage um, available on this and we'll work on bringing in some more triangle masterclass kits as well so join the wait list if you want that all right, so I'm gonna move on to the other newbies because we've seen this before. We took a look at it and you got to see it in an actual quilt. So we're not gonna take a close up look at everyone in Glisten, but awesome, highly recommend, love my quilt that I made with it. So we got a bunch of fat quarter bundles from Wyndham Fabrics. We're gonna share them with you next. First up is Lime by Marsha Dorsey. This is another one that's great for a rainbow, but it's more dusty colors than that bright, bold ones that we just saw. So this is gonna be another great one to just kind of have in your stash to use at some point. Let's take a closer look. So first up, we have the gray taupey neutral. They all have this same line design where it's gonna be a dark color and a lighter color. It just is gonna vary which one it is. So it's really fun. Like I said, great one to have in your stash to just kind of fill in. Cause we all have had those projects where like you wanna make a quilt and it needs 15 fat quarters and you only have 12 in the collection that you're working with. Well, that's when you go to your stash and you pick out colors that are gonna work that you can fill in. And so it's good to have stuff like this this on hand because there isn't a large print that's demanding and is going to take away from the focal prints of the collection that you're working with it's just going to supplement and add to that so this is a great one to just have for the moment when it's going to be perfect to be used this one is blue and kind of a grayish for that lighter stripe here we've got two different shades of yellow we've got kind of a bluish purple and violet now we have the lovely, really deep pinks, but again, it's kind of like a dusty pink. It's not that bright, funky pink. It just is a little bit moodier. Here we have two different shades of brown. We've got a rusty red with a white background. Two different shades of green. We've got olive green with a nice dusty blue. Brown and a rusty orange. Two more shades of blue. And we're gonna wrap it up with a grayish. So again, that is Line by Marsha Dursey, and we've got it over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com, all in fat quarter bundles. So next we're gonna take a look at Clueless, also from Wyndham Fabrics. This one has got some fun colors. I could totally see this for a teen or tween quilt, or just if you love the funky modern, I think this would be really fun. We're starting with the lighter colors. This one could work as like a low volume background, depending on how you make it work. It is really kind of fun because these are all little footprints going along making the designs in the different colors. 
I now totally get the meaning of Clueless. We are not talking Cher in the 90s flick. We are definitely talking about mysteries. So this could be great for book lovers. I know I love a good mystery. I'm in the middle of a really good one right now. But this one has all different by typewriter words that you would find in a mystery. We've got um, notebook, we have, let's see, investigate, clue, obviously. So this one would be great for any book lover that you know. This is a great blender print. It has really teeny tiny magnifying glasses all over it that make this little cross design. So really clever. You have different fingerprints in different colors going along here. That looks, it's very fun. It's definitely a good themed collection. We now have some grids and graph paper. And just a side note, this one, you're probably gonna want a fussy cut. And those grids are highly unlikely to actually be printed on the grain. So if you are coming from the garment world, don't expect that to happen. Just fussy cut it, have it be fun in the center of your, of your block, it'll be super cute. Or low volume background would work great too. This is a first print that doesn't exactly fit the theme, but it definitely fits the theme of quilts. I think this one is so fun. This would make a great, just big, part of a quilt block or even I could see this as great binding as well. All right, we're moving into a new colorway and starting to see some repeats of prints. Here we have the magnifying glass. We have those typewriter words again. I like this. This is really fun, especially with that green. I really like this print. It's just an outline of what looks like a female detective facing each other and there's a clock on the inside of it and it really is fun and it has different um, Roman numerals in very lightly behind everything. So I love that it's a female Sherlock going after everything. We haven't seen this one before either. This is the print that apparently is like the focal print and it ties everything together. We've got our female detective, we have our diamonds from the quilted block, we have our footprints and the clock and the magnifying glasses. It's all the notebook. It's very fun. And apparently it tells you to look inside the clock. So the clock is important to solving the mystery of this fabric collection apparently. We have the fingerprints again and one of my favorite colorways. So this could be really fun to kind of have as a blender to throw in. It's not specifically a blender because a blender usually is gonna be closer in color. Like this blue would be more closer in color to the sort of blue teal behind it. But it totally could work as something to feed into a quilt if you don't have quite enough fabrics to make it work. We've got our footprints again. Then here's our main focal print again. I think I like this colorway the best so far. It's really fun with that blue and pink. It, it doesn't look like, you know, boy girl nursery at all. It's just very vibrant and it's very fun. More colorways of the magnifying glass. This is also an example of a lovely little blender to kind of maybe just have in your stash. Like if it doesn't quite work with this quilt, it, it is a good one because it doesn't like scream, look at me. It just helps support the main players of the other fabric. All right, we've got more footprints, more grids, and that light part that is making the grid is actually kind of a pale pink, not white, so it looks really fun. We have another one of a silhouette of our female detectives and the clock that apparently is the center of this mystery. I really like it in this black background. It's very striking. And the lines also look like they are drawn in pink, just like the background of this one. So it really is a little nice extra touch. This would make a great low volume background, but again, you kind of want to be careful with how you cut it because you want to make sure that the grid looks straight when you do cut it. One final fingerprint design. We've got our diamonds again. And one final colorway of our female detective. All right, so that is Clueless from Wyndham Fabrics. We have fat quarters available of that. You can get it on our website, shop.quiltladixonomous.com. Next up, we have Tabanka, also from Wyndham Fabrics. This is a bright and colorful, nature-centered design. So it is really fun. So if you like bright, colorful, and nature, this one is gonna be for you. All right, we are starting off with a light and airy print of different leaves and bugs. And they are not like ugly bugs. They are the cute little um, bu little buggy beetles. Actually, I think it's supposed to be a ladybug and some moss. So it's not like the creepy bugs. I know some people get turned off by the creepy bugs. These are definitely cute and pretty. These leaves kind of remind me of Cave a little bit, but on a much smaller scale. But what strikes me about this is the vibrancy of the color. It's really gorgeous. I think what we have here are pink flamingos flying, but there's an occasional yellow one there. Now we have a line work snake. And this one is not your typical like creepy looking snake because there are all these line work etchings of different leaves along the snake's body. So instead of having the snake skin, we're seeing different leaves and flowers, and it really makes it not creepy. 
to put it, put it badly, put it frankly. We have more pink flamingos. And by the way, this collection is from Tamara Kate. Um, we had her and a designer chat with us when we featured one of her previous collections with Stash and with Stephanie. So you can go watch that, we can link to it. And also we have backing from her. So we do have a 108 inch wide backing that would coordinate with this, which is, makes me understand why I love the color so much because I loved her last collection that we had from her. Here's that leaf print again in a different colorway. We have our bug and leaf print again on this one. The bugs are really understated. What you notice more is that white um, cutout of the leaves. I have an entomologist friend who also uh, knits and sews and she would love this. It's all different types of little bugs lined up, but they're done in a very artful way so they do not look creepy in the least bit. They're very cute. We're changing into more of a yellow colorway now. So these are a bunch of half square triangles kind of windmilling around each other. We've got more leaves. We have more of that pretty embossed snake. Here's that bug and leaf print again, and we're moving into more of a green colorway now. Here's that cute bug one again, but this time on a green background. Now we have not seen this one before. This one has some um, monkeys swinging from branch to branch. It's really fun. They are not colors that would normally be found in nature, but they are quite cute. Here are bugs again, this time with a nice little teal background. So we're now moving into those teal blues. We have our flamingos this time, but this time they're teal. L little bit, little bit of creative license taken there, but they're cute. I really like this version of the bugs. I think it's really cute. That yellow really stands out against the teal as, as well as the orange. Just looks fantastic. Here we have those snakes again. I, I really like this colorway. This one's really pretty. We are gonna wrap it up with a really vibrant blue colorway. And I love this one of the half square triangles. Here are those leaves again with that blue and yellow colorway. Here's that monkey print again. Really fun with those monkeys just popping out with those yellows and oranges. And we are gonna wrap it up with that snake print again. So this was a really fun collection from Tamara Kate. It's a really bright, as you can see, and it really, she's influenced by the tropics, very much so. And so these bright, fun colors are very much a part of who she is, and we, she uses them a lot throughout all of her collections. We also have a 108 inch wide back that would coordinate with all of this. I believe it has some butterflies on it. So you can grab that, grab two yards of, uh, back, of the backing fabric if you wanna make a twin or lap, three if you wanna make a queen or king, and you will be ready to go. All right, we have one final fat quarter bundle to show you guys today from Wyndham. It's called Random Thoughts, and it's a big one. And it's big because we have a big panel at the bottom. So we'll actually, we'll start with that. Um, there's two of them, I believe, and we're gonna take a peek at that first. So you can tell this is bigger than your standard panel. It actually looks like it is a full yard of fabric. The way that, actually, hmm. No, it's your regular size panel. This is definitely about 24 inches or so, um, but they folded it huge. So let's take a peek at it. So this looks like a bunch of doodles and stitchings, actually. This definitely looks like it has been stitched down on different, like maybe like a fabric postcard or something. It looks really cool. It looks like graffiti esque And I do think we're definitely looking at a fabric postcard because there's actually a postage stamp on some of these. So that is, is pretty cool. This is also from Marsha Dursey. So if you like this collection, this one is gonna coordinate with it. You can definitely tell that those go together. So you could get the collection and then get the coordinates and just make some giant thing that has this real dusty moody colorway. So it would be really pretty. I do actually think that we have a full yard here. And this one you can tell that it is in fact fabric postcard. So this is the colored version of everything. It looks really, really neat. Like you can see the stitching lines. Um, I think they must have digitally printed this because I don't know how you would do it with uh, screen printing. It looks really, really cool. Definitely art quilt-esque. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the fat quarter prints that coordinates with these. Now you certainly could use either of those like super big or you could cut them up. It is totally up to you and what creative juices are flowing on the day that you work with this. I know we've had some requests lately for more abstract prints and this is definitely gonna fit the bill for that. It's all very two color, kind of like the line work that we looked at, but very abstract in its design. Here's that same dot print. Um, but in the purple and gray colorway. This one looks like a bunch of random doodles or like ink stains on it. And it's really, it's very fun. This is another one that would be good to just kind of have in your stash for that perfect moment, or you could use it all together. This one is really fun. It's very graphic and it looks just like a, a bunch of marker strokes. 
Got a nice low volume one to add to the mix. This one almost reminds me of honeycombs with the way how the little dots are all arranged. I love this mottled spratter. It's so rich in color. This orange is just absolutely fantastic. I really love it. Remember those droplets in blue? This looks like rain to me. It's really pretty. Here's that droplet print again, this time with yellow with kind of a creamy background. Here's that dot print again. It's really fantastic against that gray charcoal. This isn't quite low volume, but it could definitely work as a background depending on what you're pairing it with. This doodle of three looks even more graphic in this colorway. It's very striking. Here is kind of a red pink. It's really very pretty. Here's that drip print, this time with a creamy background and starking black. It looks really, really cool. Very graphic in this one. I feel like this entire collection would look fabulous in Strata, which is one of the patterns in our book, Fat Quarter Patchwork Quilts. It just would be very striking to work with in there. This orange is very, very bold as well. This one is very grungy, but also very cool. This one really looks like a honeycomb in this one. It, it's super cute. And my favorite color of all time, we're getting into a teal one here. So obviously I love it. This is the first time we've seen this print. It's more of like a checkerboard. Here's that mottled splatter again in kind of a rusty orange and brown. This one definitely can make a good man quilt. We don't always have fabrics that fit that description here, but this one will make a very good man quilt. Here's that checkerboard again. Very graphic in the red and black. Here's that bigger um, line drawing of the doodles again. I, I think it looks very striking in this colorway. This green looks really cool in this tiny dot version. This blue is just gorgeous. I feel it just reminds me of like water. It's so pretty. Here's that checkerboard. I think this is the last time we're seeing the checkerboard, but very cool. We're gonna see this big scale one a couple of times. I really like this colorway. This is, this is like my jam right here. This one is very, very bold and graphic. So if that's your jam, this is your collection. And we're gonna wrap it up with this dusty blue and olive green. All right, so we've got random thoughts and I just wanted to show it to you with Line, which is the other collection we just got from Marsha Dursey. Obviously they look fantastic together. Both of them are like very graphic, very abstract. So if that's what you're looking for, I know we've had requests for it recently, so I know some of you are. And it just is like, total man quilt territory. Like any of this would work um, if you are making it for a man or woman, but I know that it's really sometimes hard to find quilts that like are not florals. Um, there's a lot of that even in the modern world. So these are just absolutely gorgeous. If you can get both together, I 100% would go for it. These panels are really fun as well. It almost looks like when you look at the panel, that it's like the fabrics that are in here like inspired the panel, like like she maybe made it from like hand dyed or something. I, I would love to pick her brain on how she came up with this, but they're really cool. They would be great together. Um, I think Strata from our book, Fat Quarter Patch with Quilts would look great in this. Um, it is just uh, really, really fun. So check that out over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. And again, thanks for following along and checking out some of the new arrivals and we'll be back with a tutorial soon. Until then, happy quilting.